Hey, how's it going? What's your name? Kristen. Kristen? My name is ATM Reed. Very nice to meet you, Kristen. Nice to meet you. Tell me about yourself. <coughs> um, I'm out here in Kensington. Yeah. Getting high when I shouldn't be. Okay. <laughs> All right. Where are you from, Kristen? J uh, Jersey. Jersey? Where in Jersey? If you don't mind me asking. Cinnamon. Cinnamon? Okay. All right. Is that South Jersey? Yeah, right over the bridge. Right over the bridge? Okay. Um, how was going up for you, Christian? Um, it was good. It was good? I had, I had a great mother. Okay. Um, and my stepdad, he raised me, so he just was good. Shout out to Step Pops, man. You know. <laughs> uh, but other than that, just my dad passed away. and Yeah. Shit just went. Well. So it was growing up pretty cool for you though, Christian? Yeah, it wasn't bad. Did you graduate high school? Did you graduate high school? Yes. Yes, okay. That's really great to know. Yeah. I did that and then I graduated tech school. Okay. For cosmetology. Okay. Alright, so you got some you furthered your education in a way. But yeah. I'm not here, so I haven't pursued it much of it, but... Well, how did drugs get into your life, Christian? Um, when I was younger, I had to get teeth removed. Mm -hmm. So I was on Percocet. Mm. And then that just went to Oxys. Mm. And that went to this, and that went to that. So forth, so forth, right? Yeah. I've been in three rehabs, and I finished all of them. Need another interview? All right. Uh, and uh, the last time I did rehab, I was clean for five years. Oh, and when was the last time you've been to rehab? How many years ago was that? Ten. Ten years ago? So you had five years clean? Oh, man, how did you relapse, Christian? Stupid stuff. Just, I went back to school, so I would go to the bar at night with people, and I would have a soda, and then after a while, it went to a beer. Mm. And then it just progressed from there. And it went to the harder things and the harder mm -hmm. things again. Oh, man. So what if you avoided the bar? You think you'll never would have went back to drugs? I mean, they always say you relapse before you actually relapse. Yeah. <clears throat> so I, th I already seen that in me before the bar. Okay. So, yeah, pr I mean, I most likely would have. Okay. Like a crack Luck addict. <laughs> <laughs> You said we back at it like a what? It's like a crack addict. <laughs> oh, man, jokes. Hey, man, I'm sometimes it's, it's cool to joke sometimes. On know? Tuesday, I speak with the Salvation Army for treatment. So Yeah. I know that's right. Hopefully, I'm taking advantage of that shit. So you got to. Oh, and today is Easter, man. Um, I just want to say happy Easter to you. Happy Easter to you. Uh, I know you in a hard circumstance right now and stuff. But at least you get to um, express Ooh, okay. your life and your story and stuff like that on this day. It's a very nice day today, too. It is nice. What's your plans for the day, Christian? Honestly, I don't have any. You don't have any? Can I ask your drug of choice? Um, fentanyl and cocaine. Okay. That's it? Nothing else? Uh, ketamine. Okay. Stay away from the crack? <laughs> yeah, I don't smoke, no. Okay. Um, how old was you when you first started getting hot? I was sniffing dope for a long time. I started at 14. 14? That's young. Christian, I'm not going to lie. A lot of people out here in Kensington started getting high very young at like 14. I know, I know. Yeah. A lot of us... Could never imagine somebody that age getting high, especially on these strong substances. Have you been able to get much sleep lately? Uh, two hours last night. <laughs> so, uh, is that why you falling out right now? Oh, okay. All right. Oh man. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. How old are you, Christian? I never got your age. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Any kids? 
How's your relationship with your little ones? My daughter doesn't, I mean, I had her when I was getting high out here. So my aunt has her right now, my aunt adopted her. Oh, you had her while you getting high out here. Was her uh, father a boyfriend of yours or? My father, uh, he is at the time, yeah. Okay. All right. But, um. Uh, I hope. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, I'll see them and have a relationship one day. They said if I get when I get my shit together, I can. So. Okay. Yeah. How you able to survive out here, Christian? Like, what do you do for work to be able to feed yourself and stuff like that? Um. My, uh, I am. Um, <laughs> I do what I gotta do. Yeah. I walk the Ave and you know, too many boys out that I know. So you walk the Ave. So do dates, mm-hmm. hopping in and out of cars and stuff. Is that your only source of hustle? Besides selling my hey. subs and food stamps. Oh, you sell your subs and food stamps too. Um. Christian, um, I know this is a sensitive topic right now, um, but from the bottom of my heart, I just want to know if, if you need my help or anything. I see you got like a black eye covered up a little bit with some makeup, and I was wondering, like, is are you in danger out here with somebody's attacking you or something? This is from a date. So a date did that to you? Mm-hmm. What? Did you get in trouble for this? Did anything? Nothing? They don't do nothing if you report it anyway, so. Very rarely do they do it. So and your other eye's a little red. He hit you in your other eye as well? No, I huh. think this is a, it's an infection from, you know how people get the wounds and stuff? Mm-hmm. I think it's from that. Oh, man. I gotta go get, they had an eye drop and it ran out and now it's back, so I'm gonna have to go get another one. You ever thought about leaving the date life alone, man? It's getting dangerous, like. It could have been worse than a black eye, Christian. Yeah. You know? It's just fast cash, easy money. <laughs> That's the only shitty part. But do you go through this type of stuff often? Yeah, this is, I mean, this is my first encounter with something like this. Yeah. But. Oh my God, I would have never knew that if you didn't show me. <laughs> okay, that's a friend of yours, all right. I was wondering, like, who's this guy? How you doing, Chris? <laughs> you leaving out of a car with a black eye? Um, that don't scare you? No, it does. So ever since that happened, that was a couple nights ago. But ever since that happened, every time I'm like flinching, every time I, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like I'm losing money at this point. Yeah. But yeah, this shit. So. Is it? How much are you making a day? You know, risking your life doing this stuff, Christian. I'm not trying to beat you down about mm-hmm. it and all of that. I'm just, you know, just trying to understand your world, your, your well, lifestyle. I, <clears throat> I support two people, so. Yeah. I want to say I, I have to make, I make about 200 300 a day. 200 $300 a day? And it's gone. And like. Who's the people, other person you supporting, if you don't mind me asking? My daughter's dad. Your daughter's dad? He's out in the streets too? Uh, he's in, well, we see in a bando. Is he getting high too and stuff? Yeah. Will he make you go out there or? No. No? He doesn't like it, but what's he going to do? He doesn't really do much, so. Woo! Well, Christian. Um, I want to say thank you for your time. Happy Easter to you. Um, I hope you get some rest today. Um, please, if you can escape the lifestyle you live in, doing dates and stuff, please do. Yeah, no, it's I know. Because I don't want to see an RIP in front of your name, Christian. Either from the dates or, or your addiction. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see that for you. And I'm pretty sure there's plenty of other people that don't. Yeah, I know. Any last words before we wrap it up? Um, my son will probably see this and my mom. 
and my stepdad slash dad and my sister just um they worry about me all the time so you don't have to worry right now because you see me but um i love you and i'll talk to you soon and we out it's a danger zone you in the middle of a world only a banger home it's a danger zone you in the middle of a world only a banger home Stacks.